What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Break Room. This week, we're going to be taking a look at our HBR series ratchets, which are bit drivers with ratchet adapters that's put in the end for tight access. This week, we're going to be putting them to the test and see what the failure points are. You guys, come check it out. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be taking a look at our HBR series bit ratchets. We've done a full video on these explaining the differences of them, but today we're going to be putting them to the test, and that way we can see where the failure points are. So before we get started in this video, the first thing I want to do is explain the two that we've chosen for the test. It is the HBR8. It's an 8-inch bit ratchet with a quarter-inch drive in on one side and a 5 16 drive on the other. Both of them can be used with the adapters to convert it from your quarter inch bit ratchet into a quarter inch socket or your five sixteenths in into a quarter inch socket. The next test subject that we have chosen for this is the HBR 1046. It is a locking flex head version. On one end it has a 10 millimeter so that would be like a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench that is reversible. It also comes with the adapter for the 10 millimeter to three eighths. You push it in until it snaps and now you have a ultra compact ratchet and three eighths drive. The other end has a quarter inch on it. So it's a quarter inch bit ratchet and you can also put a quarter inch adapter in there to make it a quarter inch drive as well. So the reason why we have chosen these two is because these two pretty much encompasses the entire HBR series or any of the bit ratchets that we offer. So if you look in the catalog on page 17, you'll see the full list of all the bit ratchets that we offer. The only difference between these ratchets and the ones that you see in the catalog in the full lineup, it excludes the FRB400K. And that is the pass-through head ratchet that's included in the FRBS89 set. The rest share all the same similarities as these two with the same rebuild kits that come with them. They're either quarter inch, five sixteenths, or 10 millimeter to three eighths. That covers the HBR3, HBR4, HBR5, the HBR8, which we have here, HBR10, HBR12, HBR1046, which we also have here, or the brand new NR400K. So before we get started in the test, I do want to point out that these are bit drivers. They are quarter inch bit drivers that adapt to either a quarter inch drive, a 5 16 bit dropper, adapter that adapts to a quarter inch drive, or a 10 millimeter that adapts to a 3 8 drive. Now, even though these do convert your bit ratchets into a regular ratchet that you can put a socket on, it's not intended to replace your normal 3 8 drive or your normal quarter inch drive. It's designed for tight access areas and limited access areas where you need to get in kind of those confined spaces to get the job done. Remember building a proper toolbox is all about options and VM has tons of different options to help you out. So we don't know what the breakage is on these, but today we're going to put them to the test and find out. So we'll all know together. So let's go over here to our test bench and let's just see what these bad boys will do. All right, guys, we're over here at our test bench, as you guys can see here, and we've got our adapter in here to accept quarter inch drive. We've also got one for three eighths drive and that way we can test the HBR 1046. So we'll start our test with the HBR eight. We will start on the quarter inch drive head and we'll work our way up to just see what we can get to. Like I stated earlier, we don't know what the breaking point of these are, but we're fixing to find out, hopefully. The way it'll work, we'll put our bit adapter into our bit ratchet. We'll place it into our meter. And once we start applying force, you'll see it here on the screen. And once it gets to maximum peak torque, it will lock on and hold itself there. And that way we'll know. So. To use the test, we will be using our TH21 extendable handle with the WE26A wrench extender head in it. And that's just to control the torque so we can get a nice even pull on it. All right, so we'll zero our meter out. 
we'll place our tool into the adapter. We'll put our wrench extender handle on there and we'll slowly apply force until we get to failure. And there we go. So it feels like it stripped the gear out. You can see 32 foot pounds and the gear is stripped out in the bit ratchet. So the quarter inch side got up to 32 foot pounds before failure. So we'll put our 5 16 bit into the 5 16 drive side of the HBR8. We'll lock it in place. We'll do the same exact test. I'll clear this out. We'll put it in there. We'll put our wrench extender on there. And we'll start applying pressure until failure. Well, it slipped, but the ratchet, I think it strips some of the gears out on the ratchet because it slips in that one spot. All right, so 38 on the 5 16th side as well. I think it just kind of broke some of the teeth off the gear inside the way it feels. So 38 there. So now we'll take the HBR 1046. We're going to be testing the 10 millimeter side, which is a 10 millimeter ratchet and wrench. We're going to put the insert in it to make it a three eighths drive. We'll have to remove our quarter inch adapter. We'll clear our meter. We'll put our tool in here. Put our wrench extender handle on. And we'll start applying force until we get to failure. So we got to 94 foot pounds and the failure is not in the head as you guys see it broke in the flex head portion the head still works get it out of here that way you guys can see head still works perfect changes gear works perfectly so 94 foot pounds and that's the figure point so that's pretty impressive so like i said guys before we started this test we didn't know what the failure numbers were on these tools but now we do know it's pretty impressive that says a lot for pretty much a bit ratchet. So that's pretty cool. Now we know what those failure numbers are. Like always guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check out these tools on our website. Go to www.vmtools.com. Click the catalog button there. You'll see the new 2024 catalog and you can take a look at the full lineup of tools that we offer. If you're not subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a dime. That way you'll see all the cool new tools that we have to offer. Thanks for hanging in there with us this week, guys. Hopefully you have a great weekend and we will catch you next time. See ya.